What's going on, everybody? It's your boy, Jay Rich, here to talk some MLB prop plays over on Prize Picks for Friday, April the 7th. We have some pretty good games today, full slate, and I am excited for the Oriole Yankee game. I think there could be a lot of runs in that one. I was hoping to share a Stanton play for you, but Prize Picks ripped it off the board. But there are some other good ones that we'll get into right after the intro. He's got it! What a catch by Mookie A lot of names that if you're not a Pirates fan, so we're starting off with Ryan Mountcastle and Glaber Torres. As you can see, I have added in a park factor, which is based off of the stat that I will be talking about. In this case, it's hits, runs, RBI, so it's relatively neutral. 100 is average, like the absolute top should be right around 120, and the basement should be right around 80. Probably see most numbers fall within 105 and 95, but every now and then, maybe if we're in Coors Field, we see something up in the 115s, 120s, depending on the stat. But I did want to talk about these guys because both of them have been on fire. But I also added in a pitch factor that is based off the starting pitcher they are facing. In this case, for Gleyber Torres, he has a massive edge over Dean Kramer. And that's because Kramer is not pitching very well on the season so far. It's still a small sample, so these numbers will change a little bit. But basically, what this is telling you is that his fastball and cutter are getting hit hard. And Torres will be able to take advantage. And the same case for his sinker and his slider. So you're looking at these pitches and you're saying, how does Torres perform against these pitches? Is weighed against how does Kramer perform when throwing these pitches and the frequency that he throws these pitches, right? If he only throws a pitch 5% of the time, it's not going to factor much into the process versus his fastball, which he probably throws 50, 50 or 60% of the time. That will be a larger part as to whether or not Torres can find success and is a great way to compare hitters and pitchers when they've never faced each other before. And so that's why I wanted to include this as well. As you can see, Torres is a pretty, a 2.26 is a pretty big number. So you can see 2.26 there. Mountcastle's right around average facing up against Clark Schmidt today. And Will Benson up against Zach Wheeler, 0.01 very negligible in terms of what he will do against them. And then the park factor is slightly above average for all three of these hitters. But in the case of Torres and Mountcastle, I do like their overs for hits, runs, RBIs at one and a half. They are both favored to go over and they've both been very hot. And the biggest thing here for both of them as well is they will hit in the middle of the order, which means they have opportunities for RBIs. When you're hitting behind Judge and hitting behind Stanton, you will definitely have RBI opportunities. And same thing for Mountcastle. He's got some speedy guys who can steal bases ahead of him and other guys who can get on base. So there should be plenty of opportunity for RBIs. And that's why I've been really liking these hits run RBI props because you only need a hit and an RBI. And if you're taking guys in the middle of the order, they should be favored to go over because there's a pretty good shot they can make that happen in the case of Benson he doesn't have a hit runner RBI on the year I'm not expecting that to change against Zach Wheeler who's been one of the best pitchers in baseball did not have one of the best starts in all of baseball to start his season but is a great pitcher pitching at home his strikeout prop is seven and a half it's probably favored to the over up against Cincinnati so I could there could be some fireworks and definitely a lot of strikeout upside between him and Hunter Green I don't expect Benson to get that done today and on the pitching side, Brad Keller under two and a half earned runs. This is minus 140 on DraftKings right now. So it is favored to go under. And I think this could be a pretty good matchup between both teams, a low scoring affair. The Giants have been a little bit hot or cold depending on the day. And Keller's been all right. He hasn't been great, but he's been all right. I think he can pitch well again today in a pretty decent matchup. And as you can see, the books tend to agree with him going under. So I do like that play as well. Let's quickly double check to make sure these are all available on prize picks. Still, I loaded these in in case they did change. I'd be able to notify you about that. But at the time of this recording, they are all still available. So Brad Keller under his earn runs at minus 140. Ryan Mountcastle and Glaber Torres over their hits runs RBIs at one and a half. And Will Benson under his hits runs RBIs at 0.5. I hope this added some clarity and I wanted to showcase some of the new things I am adding. I have to do the same thing for the pitchers and kind of build in some stats for them that we can use to refine this process. And I need to build out the fantasy score model as well because that hasn't been done, but I will get there very soon. But I wanted to put out a video for you guys today because I thought there was some really good matchups. As always, if you tail, give price for and if we fail, do not bail. Make sure to drop me a like and subscribe for all future content. And I will see you guys in the next one. Good luck tonight. And I'm out. Peace. He's got it. What a catch by Mookie Betts. A lot of names that if you're not a Pirates fan, you probably don't He's know. He's the closest thing we've seen to Mike Trout. Yeah, the best team in the American League. The Yankees have the most intimidating lineup in baseball.